This is a guide to the Widget Design Authoring Toolkit. Widget supports the design, development, and sharing of widgets. Click on the button to start. On the pop-up window that appears, select the template and click Next. I'm going to select the timer. Now fill out the text boxes for your widget description. Give it a title and a description. Fill out the author details Note that all fields on this window are optional. Click Next. Fill out the text boxes for the use case. Use cases are comprised of a persona and a scenario. They help to provide a pedagogical use case for the widget. You can either edit an existing persona or provide your own. To edit an existing persona, click on the drop down menu and select one. Now edit the text. Provide your scenario details. Click Finish. This is the tool's main authoring screen. You can personalize or adapt a widget. In this presentation, we're going to adapt one. If you want to change the title of the widget, click on the title to select it, and then locate the Edit Template panel on the right. Note that the value of this component is the title itself. Click inside the text box and delete the text. Now type in a new title and hit Enter. The title has changed. In case you want to use a different clock template, perhaps a digital clock instead of an analog, click the clock icon to select it. Again, on the Edit Template panel, locate and click the button to delete the component. Now from the All Components panel on the left, Drag a new clock template onto the placeholder. I will select the digital clock. Now that a new component is added, note the advice that appears on the Tasks panel on top. As we can see, First, we need to assign a new action to the button to link it with a new clock. Click the Tasks panel advice, highlight it in pink, to activate the Edit panel. On the Edit panel, click the box next to Action. And then, from the drop-down menu, Select Start Countdown. This is the action which we require. Click anywhere outside the box and the action is set.
If you wish, you can also change the display text on the button of your timer. To do this, click inside the text box next to Display Text and type in a new label. Hit Enter. Your new label is set. Similarly with the previous step, the new clock needs a starting time in order to be linked with the existing slider on the template. This information appears in the Tasks panel in pink. In order to do that, select the task to activate the Edit panel. Now click the box next to Starting Time. From the drop-down menu, select Selected Value. Click anywhere outside the box. The starting time is now set and the slider is linked with a clock. Now click on the slider to select it. As you can see on the edit panel, you can now change the minimum, maximum, and default value of the slider. Widget allows the author to add various other components on the widgets. They are grouped on the All Components panel on the left. Available components on the tool include clocks, input types such as buttons and sliders, layout types such as grid, media types such as images, sounds and videos, services such as Google Maps, social components such as Facebook, text components and to-do components such as tables. To preview the widget, click the preview button at any time during the development process. If you require help, from the Tools main menu, click Help, and from the drop down sub menu, click Help again. To open a list of help topics on a new page, to save your widget, from the Tools main menu again, click File, Save. On the new window, select the design stage of the widget, either work in progress or completed work, and click Save. You can also download the widget as a zip or WGT file. Also, make a note of the widget link to your widget. You can use this URL at any time to go back to your widget and edit it. If you require any kind of support, whether that is a comment, a question, or a request for a new component, you can use the tool's built-in form to contact us. On the tool's main menu, click Feedback and Support, and on the new window that appears, complete your name, your email, which will be used to get back to you, and your comment.
When you've typed in the two words, click send. 